My name is Tanya Mills with the Office of Education Technology and Extended Learning, and welcome to the Hour of Code. EdTech and Design and Library Media Services are promoting the Hour of Code during Computer Science Education Week, December 7th through the 13th, 2020. The Hour of Code learning event introduces coding to students through code.org which provides coding platforms, teacher resources, and unplugged coding opportunities for students of all ages. Starting on December 7th, 2020, ready-to-use lessons for either asynchronous or synchronous participation in the Hour of Code will be available through the Canvas Commons for grades pre-K through 12. These lessons can be deployed by any teacher or librarian. After you have imported the Aura Code module of your choice from the Canvas Commons. Please go to the Aura Code teacher directions that's located in the module. Uh, this includes the lesson introduction um, to the lesson that you're about to share with the kids. There is the overview purpose, the lesson agenda. Over on the right hand side, you'll have the instructional resources, which reply, provide links to different parts of the activity. There's also a classroom technology area, which, which will tell you which of the browsers you will be using and which devices are able to be used during the activity itself. There's the immersive reader. If the uh, students need to have the information on the page translated into a language that they can read, um, they would be able to use the immersive reader option along with having the immersive reader program read the page to them in whatever language they choose. In this area, we have the directions for the lesson itself. Um, you can click on the level by level lesson tutorial so that you can see exactly what type of code is required for the students to complete each of the puzzles. I would encourage you to go to the actual website itself to view it. And there's also a link here that will let you complete the online tutorial for the lesson yourself. We have a list of the actual standards that apply to the lesson. And down at the very bottom is an exit survey that we would like for you to take. It's very short, and this will allow our department to track student participation in the Hour of Code. When you're ready, you can go ahead and click on the next button in the lower right-hand corner, and this will take you to the part of the module that is for your students. In the student activity, we'll see that we have videos that have been embedded that will lead the students to the process of completing uh, the different sections in the uh, lesson itself. There is a get started area, which may include videos that they will need to watch that will talk a little bit about coding. And they'll be able to go ahead and answer those questions that are there by clicking on the blue button. There is a general support area. Um, we highly recommend the students reading through this area so they know what to expect when they complete the next section, which happens to be the activity for today. In this example, I'm gonna show you what the students will see when they get to the activity part of the Hour of Code module. Students will click on the click here blue button, which will take them to the Hour of Code website has online tutorials that will show them what to expect they can click the play button to watch that. Uh, we encourage students to do that so they can learn more about uh, coding itself. Once they do that, um, it will take them to the actual uh, section in the Hour of Code where they can read through the directions here or have the immersive reader uh, read that for them. They then will follow the instructions to solve the actual puzzle. And if they are successful and they complete the puzzle, they'll go ahead and click on the continue option to go to the next one. Please encourage your students to come back to the actual Canvas course where they can upload and share what they've learned in the Hour of Code. And down at the very bottom, there is a reflection piece that will ask them uh, two or three questions. If you have any questions concerning the Hour of Code modules in the Canvas Commons, 
please feel free to go ahead and contact the Office of EdTech and Design and Library Media Services or send an email to Tanya Mills at tmills at saisd.net. Happy coding!